Welcome to the BitConnect YouTube channel coming up in today's video. BitConnect X Leak Response Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome to the BitConnect YouTube channel. If you didn't know already, with the BitConnect launch, there have been behind the scenes some coordinated efforts to make sure that information being passed is done as responsibly as possible and the timing is correct. There are some opportunistic people who have done some digging and have unfortunately leaked some information that we weren't prepared to go live just yet. The reason why it exists in the first place is to give those involved in promoting BitConnect the chance to be able to uh, prepare for any live streaming for when the website goes live. Now, opportunists like this guy here, who's now got a 20% downvote, Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not signed in. Anyway, um, that aside, let's go through some of the stuff that's been leaked uh, because some of it for some people is a little bit doom and gloom. And I don't necessarily agree with some of the feedback coming out, which is why it's coordinated so that uh, everyone involved in BitConnect can speak with a unified voice, clearly, concisely, and be prepared to answer all of the questions. Now, people like this, don't actually have to respond and answer the questions, they're just in it for the hits and for the views. That aside, let's have a look at some of the questions and I'll be trying to give a ray of hope for the people that may be affected by some of the information that comes out of the BitConnect X ICO website. So if you don't know anything about this and you're hearing this for the first time, you will know that the um, BitConnect X ICO launch has been pushed back slightly. So it's now 10 hours from now, which is 6 a.m. It was pushed back yesterday by three hours, then four hours, and now six hours. And it's not because BitConnect X isn't ready to go. There are certain communications going on in the background that need to be coordinated so that uh, there isn't mass frenzy, there isn't mass panic, which is why I'm doing this recording now is almost like an emergency recording to present uh, or, or prevent some of the questions and answers uh, that other people will be giving, other people will be asking and making sure that I'm prepared. So I will do my best. Now the original recording that I had planned for this evening prior to our live stream of when BitConnect X goes live will now no longer happen. That video was going to be about um, how to prepare for when the site goes live. Uh, what can you expect and how can you be prepared to get in early? Uh, and obviously on the website, if you go to the top, you can see that there's uh, you know different features and downloads. We'll be looking at the roadmap and also looking at there will be a, an area where you can mine. So the mining um, button is now gone. So you've got statistics and features. So these are all new things that will be coming up when the site launches in 10 hours. So what has been revealed? So there is a FAQ section here. Obviously most people who want to play around with it, just like I did, is to type in the name of this to append the bitconnectx.co. Now this was launched literally less than an hour ago for promoters to be able to be prepared for some of the questions so they could pre-prep some of the videos uh, before the launch so they had a little bit of information enough to actually give good advice so this is from the new faqs section which the link doesn't work but obviously it's there in the background so that we can prepare we'll go through some of this and i will be around for the next 12 to 24 hours now bearing in mind a lot of this information that's coming out early has caused a bit of furore and um, my emails have blown up my youtube's blown up comments my discord's blown up everything. Twitter has gone crazy. So I want to allay as many fears and answer as many questions as I can as quickly as I can so I can prep for the live launch later on. So what is the ICO price of BitConnect X? So BitConnect X will be offered at the rate of $5 per BCCX over the 45 day ICO period. There will be two bonus levels as follows. 5% bonus from January the 10th to January the 24th and a 2% bonus from January 25th to February the 8th. No bonus from February the 9th onwards. So that's the price. That's the ICO price as being launched. If you are already a registered member of bitconnect.co, you can log into the bitconnectx.co websites and place a buy order with available option. 
If you're new to the community, you can register either with bitconnect.co or bitconnectx.co to participate in the ICO. So if you already have a BitConnect login to your platform and you already have funds, you may have uh, funds already invested, or you have uh, family and friends who are part of your referral uh, program where you get paid on their investments, then this is what you would normally use to log in uh, to your BitConnectX.co account. So that is how it works. If you already have a BitConnect account, you can log in as normal on the BitConnectX.co website as soon as it goes live in 10 hours time. What is the maximum supply of Bitcoin X? So the maximum supply of coins will be 49 million. 11.7 million coins will be available to buy in the ICO and 2.9 million coins held by BitConnect as a reserve fund. The remaining 35 million coins will be available through a proof of stake and proof of work mining. Just like how the BitConnect coin used to be before the proof of work was uh, was edited and taken out. How long will the ICO last? So the ICO will start from today, depending on where you are in the world, tomorrow, uh, and run until the 23rd of February 2018. What currencies will be accepted during the ICO? We will accept Bitcoin, Litecoin and BitConnect coin only for ICO purchases. So this doesn't necessarily mean that these will be or the all three that will be working within the platform on launch after the ICO is finished. But for the purposes of the ICO, you can use Bitcoin, Litecoin and BitConnect. Coin. So let's cover this very, very quickly. If you want speed of transaction, then obviously Litecoin is a lot faster than Bitcoin. Bitcoin transactions can be expensive. Now, if you're doing a Bitcoin transaction from your BitConnect software wallet, then you just have a fixed fee and it's very, very fast. It's, it's faster than doing a high priority uh, QT wallet purchase, for instance. So it's a lot faster and there's a fixed fee, which is 0 0.0004 Bitcoin. Litecoin should be faster. Uh, if you if you're coming from a separate wallet and faster still will be a BitConnect coin. So I hope you guys have been squirreling away your BitConnect coins ready for your ICO purchase. What can you do? What can I do with my BitConnect X? BitConnect X will use a proof of work and a proof of stake algorithms to secure the blockchain network, enabling both miners and stakeholders to earn interest in the form of transaction fees or mining rewards. What will happen to the BitConnect X not sold during the ICO? The unsold coins will go to reserve funds for marketing, development and admin work. Which wallet should I use to store BitConnect X? You can use a web wallet on the BitConnectX.co website or a web wallet offered by third party service providers. And you can also store in a QT wallet once it is available as per our 2018 roadmap. OK, so these are all things that will be launched uh, and be visible to you as soon as the site launches. Which citizens cannot participate in the BitConnect X ICO? Now, I need to put this in perspective. This ICO is not open to US citizens or residents. Distribution is therefore not offered by this website to US citizens or US residents. By participating, you hereby agree and commit that you are not a US citizen or resident. So this is the statement that is unfortunate. This is one of the reasons why the site has been put back a number of hours so that those who are promoting it can effectively come to an agreement on how we talk about this. And this is something that we were in the middle of doing when this was leaked. OK, so Jedi Knight has just literally just put that there. So it's a BitConnect X important update. So as I'm recording, Jedi has uh, is basically, I imagine, saying some very similar things that I am saying right now. And he's a good guy, he's very well informed. So I'm glad that he's put that video up. So um, if you haven't already seen it and uh, you're watching this now, then after this, I suggest you go and listen to whatever he's got to say because it is all sage advice. I'm sure 95% uh, of what we're saying is coming from the same, uh, from, from this, the same perspective. So the ICO is not open to US citizens or residents. So what does this mean? If you are already a US resident, but first of all, let's talk about the reasons why. 
and if you are in BitConnect you will probably have guessed it uh, it's to do with this cease and desist order in Texas and you'll also notice that if you uh, if you live in the US you would have been greeted earlier this week with a choose your state button now I was going to cover this tonight anyway in my video uh, about being prepared it was an emergency thing that was put on to basically give the Texas state a recognition of the powers that be understand what is being said and that BitConnect is want, wants to be transparent about everything uh, to the best of their ability, bearing in mind that it is a decentralized distributed system. Okay, uh, It is not a company in the normal sense of the word, so this is where everything needs to be thrashed out as to how this type of platform is understood in financial sense, uh, in terms of securities, ways of tax. This is something that's not going to go away, not just for BitConnect, it's not something that's going to go away for other people doing a similar thing, same thing, or something that is a, a distributed organization, a decentralized autonomous organization like BitConnect is, because um, obviously with securities, they want to pin responsibility on auditing. They want to have fair auditing and they want someone to explain it in plain English for them. Now, the fact that BitConnect is a distributed, decentralized and autonomous system, a lot of that is ingrained into blockchain. So if you want to provide certain information, the response could be, well, everything is visible on the blockchain. Uh, but there are certain things that they will be wanting, like who owns it? Uh, how much holdings do you have? You know, things like that, roadmaps. Uh, they want a little bit more information. That's It's just as simple as information. So during this period of time where that information over the next 30 days is actually sent over and dealt with. Now, I don't know the background of what's happening. All I know is that there is something happening and it is those channels of communication will be opened up and uh, what will be, will be. But in the meantime, whilst there is the cease and desist order, which was also covered in the BitConnect X ICO and release, it was stated in no uncertain terms that BitConnect X ICO could not be released until permission was agreed upon and granted. BitConnect didn't need to do this from my perspective. Now, everything that I say when, you're, when I'm talking about investments, I'm not giving investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my own personal feeling about how things work. It may be wrong, it may be misguided, but many of the things that I'm saying, I'm hearing a lot from both people within the US, from people within Texas, and from people outside uh, who are worried about how this will affect other states, uh, other countries, such as Canada. And there are other certain areas that are stepping stones to either this going away and being resolved or things escalating, which is why there is a coordinated voice and things are planned to be released so that we can get the information out as best we can and that people understand it. And all of these questions that will now come through and will bombard me for the next 12 hours and probably days, most of them can be avoided. Now, if you are a US citizen, and I know how many of you there are. I also know roughly how many people either live in Texas and have not been able to get into the BitConnect system because it has been no more lens and no more reinvests have been allowed currently whilst this is going on uh, for the remainder of the month. Uh, I'm not saying that this won't be resolved. I'm just saying as a temporary thing, this has annoyed a lot of people. For people living in other states, there is a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt that this will not spread into their state. Typically, uh, you know, very conservative states uh, like Texas. So there is that concern and I, I hear lots of that uh, kind of questioning recurring all the time in emails over the last couple of days. And then there is a whole bunch of you in the States who have been looking forward to being involved in the BitConnect X ICO. You've been saving for it, you've been planning for it, you've been making videos about it. Now, this is not a decision that was taken lightly. This is it's very difficult to know what to do and to, to do right. But what you do have to do is stay on the right side of the law. So BitConnect doesn't want to do anything that is inflammatory. It doesn't want to upset anybody. And it certainly doesn't want to break any laws that it knows about. 
So until this gets to the right people with the right information at the right time and permission is granted and the hearing is heard, I'm hoping that this will be expedited and I'm sure all of you guys are as well, but let's talk about what will happen from now. So if you have a BitConnect account, as many, many, many thousands of you do in, in the US, and does this mean that you cannot use your login credentials to get into BitConnect X? The answer is yes. That is how it works, unfortunately. It's not ideal. It's not what was wanted. The rest of the world is unaffected, and that includes Canada. Canada is not affected. In the video that leaked this information, it was all doom and gloom. And well, if you're America, you know, you may as well just take money out and just, just, just go somewhere else and invest into a different platform. Yep, yeah, you could do that. What if you have a downline? What if you feel that this is going to be resolved? What if you think that this is going to get worse? Now, either whichever side of the fence you sit, I don't have the answers to those questions. I think it will be resolved. It doesn't matter what I think. It's what you think. It's what you feel. When you invest into a platform, there is a lot of emotional uh, charge that goes with it because it's your money and you guys are financially sovereign. So you have the choice to do what you want. Now, what you haven't had the choice to do what you want over the last year, if you've been in, in, in BitConnect, especially since October, since they stopped people being able to change their sponsor, there was no incentive to do so unless you were you were you had been aggrieved by a sponsor and you actually put a very very strongly worded message to uh, support at BitConnect and said you know I'd, either I don't have a sponsor can I please change it or I have a sponsor they're not looking after me uh, I'm not getting the the help and feedback and I'm having other people that are I'm joining teams uh, can I swap team can I can I move to a different region. Um, where I do get support. And since October, the answer to that has been no. So what I think will happen now, I'm not recommending this by any, any shot, but I can understand what a lot of people will be doing and I can't do anything to stop this. So many people will think that having a VPN will help. Uh, unfortunately, it won't. The way that it has been engineered that if you have an account, uh, when you signed up, you would have selected your country and uh, recently you would have also selected your state. Now at the moment, it doesn't matter which state you're in, you will not be able to log in as per normal from your normal BitConnect credentials, which is a real shame. So let me talk about Texas first for Texas residents who have correctly selected selected the uh, the Texas box and found themselves that they can only draw out their interest on a daily basis. Maybe you have Bitcoin in there, maybe you have BitConnect coins in there accumulating. How could you get into BitConnect X? Same goes for people who are in other states. Now, I know there is roughly, this is a crazy number, there are nearly 20,000 people who live in double named states like New York, for instance, uh, where when this pop-up came through, they actually clicked the button and nothing happened because there was a, an early bug in the system. So they were choosing different states. And for some reason, so many of you chose Texas and found themselves not being able to do a new lend or to do a reinvest. So if you are one of those people that are not in Texas, then what is a solution? Well, obviously you can't do anything now currently until that bug is fixed. There are fixes coming, but it won't be within the next week, I don't think. So hold your horses, it's not going anywhere, but this could be a time of opportunity. If you think or are worried that this could be affected in other states in the US, or that it's coming to you, or that this will not be resolved with your current platform, but you are still being able to log in and you, you can still take out uh, your interest every day, then there is a possibility that lots of people will be spinning up a new login with BitConnect, an unofficial login with new credentials. And when they sign up, they are either not going to choose Texas as their state and stick with the US, or they're actually going to choose a different country like the UK or Spain or Germany or something that isn't the US or Canada. So I know there will be lots of people. I've had so many emails saying, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? I am not supporting that you do that, but I know you're going to do it anyway. So if you're going to do that anyway, 
then there is an opportunity that you can actually come under another sponsor. And knowing that you've been in BitConnect for a long time, and if you haven't had any good terms with your sponsor, or you haven't had uh, help, or you haven't joined uh, an active participating group, then this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you, and it's also, I see that as an opportunity for me, because I'm not in the US. And neither are people like, like, like Jedi Knight, for instance, uh, who I think is based in Germany. And you've got other people like um, Crypto Girl, who's based in the Netherlands. So, you know, if the language barrier isn't an issue and you're English speaking, you may want to choose someone like me or someone like Jedi Knight. Or um, if you don't mind the language barrier, uh, maybe you speak Dutch, uh, then maybe someone like uh, Crypto Girl, because some of her stuff is also in English as well. And she is, you know, she, she does do a really great job, her and her team. And it's a growing team. It's a growing team in Europe. So you now have the choice. If you decide to do this, you can now pick a team that you think that will support you. People that make videos every single day, there are many of them that are outside of the US. This is an opportunity for you to say, do you know what, I like this person, I like that person. Before you join, there will no longer be an, uh, an area for you to actually add a sponsor later on. So if you're going to create a new account and you're going to move money into it and you want to get involved in the ICO, then this could be a great time now. This is a personal opinion. This is not the opinion of BitConnect at all. This is my personal opinion and this is not advice. I'm not advising you to do it. I'm saying I know that tons of you are going to be doing this as, as a kind of get around and you're going to want to be able to funnel money from your current account as your interest comes in and fund your new account. So I'm just trying to be preemptive and if you're going to be preemptive and you're going to create a new account then at least be in a team that you believe in a team that you support in and a team that will continue to support you, continue making videos. Uh, I am one of many examples. If you think that's a good idea and you either hadn't thought of it or I've sown a seed or you're going to do it anyway, before you do that, and if you're going to do it, I would suggest doing it in the next 10 to 12 hours. I will be live streaming it and I will see all of those new people come in. I know it will happen. All I want to say is I will support you if that is what you decide to do. I know people like Jedi Knight will also do the same because they work on this 24 seven. They live it, they breathe it, they dream about it and they are conscientious people. So there are lots of other people to choose from. So go and do what you need to do. If you do want to join our team, what you need to do is to click the referral link below this video. So I see this as a sign of opportunity. So that is the whole citizens cannot participate in the BitConnect XICO saga, hopefully done with. I know it's going to get worse. I know that there's going to be the usual fools uh, spinning this up into something and telling you something that is completely incorrect. So this is why I want to address this now. This is why I'm laboring this point so much, but I think I should move on. Will you pay the bounty for the program? Uh, no, there is no bounty. And is there a minimum or maximum purchase limit in the ICO? Yes, you can only purchase 100 BCCX per 24 hour time frame. So once you get in, you can only buy 100. So that's 500 bucks worth. And you can only do that once every 24 hours. So I imagine people will be hoarding for a while and getting in. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are not in BitConnect and you want to get involved in the BitConnect X ICO, click the link down below you will join our team. There are lots of benefits. I will talk about that in the live video uh, as we're trying to pad for time as we discover what is happening with the BitConnect X ICO launch. Now, the original time was midnight uh, UK time. It then got moved to 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. Currently, it is saying it's 9 a.m. our time. Now, I do most of my recording at night, mainly because the kids uh, are asleep and the wife's awake and the telephone's not going and popping, you know, things aren't just going on, the house is quiet. This time in the morning I'll be doing the school run, so I will be doing a live stream. I don't know how much time I will have to be able to do it. Um, I will do it to the best of my ability, but we'll play it by ear um, because I know there will be lots of questions. So I will be available uh, between now and then. I will be up throughout the night. It is now currently, oh, it's only, <laughs> it feels like two, three in the morning because it's been a very, very long day. It's uh, 23 minutes past 11 UK time. How long do we have left? Okay, nine hours, 37 minutes. Okay, so 9 a.m. tomorrow, UK time. Uh, I don't think that's midnight, isn't it, Eastern Standard Time? So um, around, yeah, yeah, if you're, you are in the US coast. Uh, if you're East Coast, then it will be uh, midnight tonight. So I look forward to seeing you. Um, 
keep your questions ready. Uh, there will be uh, lots of things I will be going through. I wanted to cover in the video I was going to do this evening. I haven't covered mining. There will be a mining opportunity. I wanted to show you how to have a miner ready, how to set it up and how to start mining straight away. So I'll be covering that in the live stream. Loads of other stuff. I don't want to leave the point because this video is longer than I intended. So have a great time. See you tonight. It's not all doom and gloom. There is opportunity, uh, but you need to take action now and get on it. So off you go, guys. I'm Roy Murphy. You've been watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. I will see you live in nine and a half hours.